Okay, today's video is going to be an interesting one. Uh, for the main reason that Hyperland is getting a premium version. Now, I get this, developers, they give their free time, and again, it's... Sometimes this is all that they do. And having a little extra income here and there is honestly a good thing for developers. It keeps them going, uh, it gives them more enthusiasm, more effort. I'm not one to take away from that, you know? everybody needs help time from time to time you know so i'm not mad about it i actually had a lot of time to think about it and i'm okay with this for the most part now he does mention in the live stream that there might be desktop experience premium and i don't i'm, I'm hoping that that's just dot files and not like an actual premium version of hyperland itself that would be the only issue, because if, if they got a special version of Hyperland and everyone else, you know, had to pay for it and is like segregated to do two different things, that's a bit weird. That's going a little bit overboard. But the rest of it, okay, this is completely fine. Support develop, uh, Supports development, check. Because again, you know, that encourages more developers to come in and do the thing and get everything done. Premium forums, great. Weeds out the trolls. It allows actual support to get through, people to chat, share their experiences. Premium desktop experience. What the frack does that part mean? That's the only issue that I have. Now, as you can see, I'm on Hyperland right now. Well, actually, I don't think any of you really noticed because I keep saying, people keep saying, is that Plasma? Is that Gnome? No, this is Hyperland. I turned Hyperland into a desktop environment because, well, I'm me and I'm stubborn and I go against all the laws of nature. This is built off of N4, by the way. If and when it comes out, like, I don't know if this is out now. It says there's a bunch of stuff coming soon, but I would probably do it just to see how things go. And to see how it would work out. Because this whole desktop experience premium thing is what worries me the most. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. <clears throat> now, I know there's a lot of people. I know a lot of people who are currently switching to Neary. And if you don't know what Neary is. Um... It's a, it's a weird little thing. Uh, one second. Let me do the Neary Compositor, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, here it is. It's this thing. Basically, it's a scrolling type of dealy. And you're kind of stuck with the whole sidebar thing. Either on either side. It's not re much room for customization. Okay, that's probably bullshit. Yeah, there's tons of room for customization. But it's basically dynamic workspaces like GNOME, an overview that zooms in and out, built-in screenshot UI, monitoring, blah, 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 blah. It has a lot of really interesting stuff built into it, okay? Like, there's a demo here. And there's lots of stuff that's built in, so uh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Wayland, by the way. So, you just scroll. It's It's... Definitely kind of cool, but at the same time, really weird. <clears throat> so that's what people are transitioning over to. I've seen a couple of people try to go to Sway and they hated it. So they came back, went to this and so on and so forth, all because of this. And I get it. Not everyone's going to be into this. That's completely fine. You have a choice. You're on Linux. Same way that I choose to turn my uh, Hyperlin into a desktop environment with a start menu. I'm a psychopath. This is what we do. We... We take what shouldn't be done and do it and then make everybody else want it and then I can't help them get it because somehow something keeps screwing up and I can't fix it. <sighs> but it's still a thing. So again, this, I'm okay with. This, I don't know about, but it doesn't feel right. Okay? Also, if you're going to do this, Add a lifetime one. 
basically be like, yeah, you want lifetime support? Here you go. Like figure out a price, talk to your community about it. Because I've had interactions with the main developer of Hyperlit. He's a nice guy. He's jumped in my stream. We've had chats. He's really friendly. And honestly, I don't know. Maybe he can leave a comment below on what desktop experience premium is. And the minute he answers it, I'll pin it and I'll let you know. So where do we go from this? Like, are you going to abandon Hyperland or are you going to stick with it? Because this is a big thing for most people. Most people believe because they are FOSS developers that they really shouldn't be paid. That seems to be the gist of it. This seems to set a lot of people off. Yet you work your job daily and you expect to be paid for it. These people put in enough time and energy that they should have some income from it. And again, you're not being forced to do it. It's a choice you can choose to support. That's the thing. And it's a small fee, five euros plus tax a month. And it's small enough that it's not really going to make a dent in anyone's wallet. That's the interesting part. They chose a good solid price and hopefully it's not going to change. So tell me your thoughts and opinions and please, for the love of God, use common sense and be civil. This, this channel does have rules. Okay. This is not something I need to turn political. All right. I don't need you to bring up the developer's past. I know what it is and I've done a video on it. And honestly, he, he has his own thoughts and opinions. And I respect them. Simple as that, as I would expect you to respect mine, and you expect me to respect yours. It doesn't need to be brought up again. The conversation is just about this and this only. Because I believe that developers should get paid for their work, be it FOSS or proprietary. That's the way the world works. Without it, projects can die or things can slow down. At least this way, who knows? We could get more fixes and a lot more stuff done in the long run. How cool would that be? Anyway, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the like on the video. Helps the algorithm. Leave a comment. Again, your experiences, what you think about this, the questions you have. Maybe he'll come in and answer a few. Who knows? And I'll see you guys in the next video.